Welcome to Global Media Stocks to Watch. I'm Michael Swido. I'm speaking today with Lance Morgan. He's the president and co-founder of the Blockchain Intelligence Group. They're a subsidiary of Big Digital. Lance, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for having me. You know, Lance, each time I speak with you, it seems there's another crypto scandal or hack making the headlines. This time there is some good news, though. People who traded with FTX or with Mt. Gox are receiving some of their funds back. FTX is reimbursing traders based on the value of their accounts in 2022. That is unfortunately a lot less than what the tokens would be worth today. Mt. Gox is paying traders in Bitcoin. This is a decade, though, after that exchange collapsed. And of course, there are new scandals as well in Hong Kong, the US, and elsewhere. All of which brings us to your business, which helps law enforcement root out the criminals. The Blockchain Intelligence Group offers a certified cryptocurrency investigator training program, and it is now rolling out two new modules, one focused on hacks and exploits in the crypto space, and the other on risk management for financial institutions. Let's take a look at each of these in turn, starting with hacks and exploits. Lance, I'm wondering if you could give us a quick overview. I imagine there's a lot of material out there. So how did you choose what to focus on? Yeah, we we really wanted to make sure that we could cast as wide of a net as possible in order for people to really understand all the different types of nefarious routes that uh, illicit actors would be taking. And so we we do have an internal investigation team that, that investigates any high profile case um, that we see out in the media. And um, and so we we brought those into this plot into this module to really allow them to get into the weeds of it and understand exactly how uh, they're taking advantage of individuals, corporations, and and even using uh, bots and and scripts and draining scripts. And yeah, it, it's very comprehensive. And uh, I think people are really going to find it fascinating. No doubt. I'm curious, what's one of the most interesting exploits or hacks that you cover in the course? Um, I would say the squid, uh, the squid hack. So everyone knows Squid Game that came out on Netflix. Um, exactly. And back... Pardon me. I'm a big fan. <laughs> yeah, me too. Love it. It uh, there was a group that that released back in 2021 uh, a token, and that that everyone thought was part of uh, the popular series. And um, when it launched uh, on a Tuesday, I think it was that it was worth um, one cent, and by Friday it had exploded up to four dollars and thirty nine cents. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, nefarious actors took all the funds and it crashed within, I, I think it was like 45 seconds. It was really like, oh, it's just falling off a cliff. Uh, so that one is a very interesting read. Some other things, of course, that we cover would be just how individuals are being targeted, phishing, rug pulls. Uh, the Qcoin hack is another notable one. Um, flash loan exploits. Uh, yeah, the list goes on, but but the Qcoin, or sorry, the Squid one is, uh, uh, very interesting. Oh, for sure. I, I think it's worth pointing out that people who sign up for this module, they're going to learn how to detect early warning signs, uh, as well as attacks accused by cyber criminals. Uh, and I, I understand you also explore the dark web's role in facilitating these crimes. All right, let's right. turn now to the other new module that the Blockchain Intelligence Group is rolling out. It's called Cryptocurrency Risk Management for Financial Institutions. You know, particularly now that Bitcoin ETFs have been given the green light in several jurisdictions, including the US, we're seeing a lot of institutional money flow into the sector. And this raises new risk management and regulatory challenges. So Lance, what would you say are some of the pain points that you address in the course? Yeah, great question, Michael. I, I, I would say the transactional risk itself, if you're involved in, in cryptocurrencies in any way, or digital assets, what kind of reputational risk uh, can be associated with with that involvement. You need to be selective in in what you choose to to offer to your customer base. Things like sanction risk, obviously, that's a huge one uh, with what's going on in the world these days. Um, governance risk, and then just your your local regulatory and compliance risk that uh, that you need to be aware of, and making sure that you can adhere to local regulations and and make sure that you uh, you stay within the guidelines that. Uh, that they've provided. So these things I think are essential and, and something that we spent a lot of time on in order to be able to make sure that we can inform uh, individuals that are that are in the space and all the way up to the top, executives themselves also need to understand 
all the different types of risks that digital assets um, have involved with them and uh, and be able to sort of dictate where your business model and, and business opportunity is going to go based on that associated risk. So this is very comprehensive and one that's been uh, in great demand from our from our client base. And we're, we're excited to get it uh, rolled out. You mentioned all the way to the top, this module is specifically designed for compliance officers, risk managers, and executives. And in addition to covering those regulatory requirements, risk assessment methodologies, it also covers due diligence processes, and there are real case studies. Uh, I'm curious, can you give us an example of one of those case studies? Yeah, I, the biggest would be um, mixers and people looking to avoid being identified that they are a sanctioned individual or entity. And so we we identify a few different cases where this takes place uh, and the different practices that they would use when trying to obfuscate their path. So mixers are, are, are completely obvious, but others would be using peer-to-peer uh, -peer exchanges, atomic swaps, things that... Uh, if you just have a general understanding of crypto and, and tracing, it wouldn't really get you to where you need to be in understanding uh, how these activities happen. And so we, we we highlight some specific cases in these areas because sanction is, is the biggest thing that a compliance officer has to worry about. Uh, and there's a lot of work behind it if, uh, if a transaction does get processed. Uh, I, I can imagine it's quite complicated. Uh, and definitely something that people in the financial sector, I mean, a lot of them don't have that knowledge, at least not yet. Yeah. I understand that people who undertake the training, um, well, they often need to demonstrate a certification to their employers or prospective employers to show that their credentials are up to date. Uh, what types of certifications are you offering with these two new training programs? Yeah, so module nine is part of uh, uh, an overall certification, which um, we can get into in a little bit. but. Module 10 is a standalone certification. So it's a uh, certified cryptocurrency investigator compliance. And, um, and again, it really does give uh, anyone in compliance risk management sort of the, the full knowledge of toolbox of information necessary in order for them to perform their duties, which is why we created a standalone certification behind it. Fantastic. So there's that standalone certification. What about uh, for the program overall? Yeah, so adding these last two modules completes our um, Certified Cryptocurrency Investigator Advanced Series. And um, so people that go through modules 6 through 10 uh, will receive that certification if they pass the final exam. It also then includes our uh, Certified Cryptocurrency Investigator Ethereum certification, which is Module 8. And then obviously the most recent, Module 10, being CCIC. Well, thousands of professionals have already been certified by your crypto investigator training programs. Uh, and certification is great, but I'm the sort who wants to know, what does it mean in the real world? So can you give us an example of how this training has helped people combat illicit activities? Um, we have had many reports back on, on how these tools and this information has uh, assisted people. We can't highlight specific cases, unfortunately. A lot of them are still to be held confidential. But what I can say is that uh, we've had numerous people come back to us and tell us that with the certification uh, that we provided earlier, um, it has helped them gain positions in companies such as uh, Circle, um, Ernst & Young, Deloitte, a number of banks that Probably some people might not know because they're in other countries, but yeah, this has definitely helped many, many people. And the other thing that we're doing that a lot of employers like to see is where there's continued top up training. So this latest edition of modules and certification being uh, CCIA um, will be valid for one year. And then we will have our students go through a much smaller uh, refresher course. But it, you can imagine in cryptocurrency and blockchain, digital assets, everything is moving so quickly that even a year is almost a little too long um, to uh, require people to go through a, a top up training. But we also can appreciate that this is sort of the way the world works in in top up courses. And so we'll, we'll go in line with it, see how it works. But um, uh, this is something that I think that a lot of people appreciate because employers will then have the confidence that they are staying up to the latest tactics that are being taken place by nefarious and illicit actors. 
All right. Really interesting. And I'm sure it is a great thing to have on someone's CV when you're in this industry. Uh, really good to talk to you. Great to see you fight the good fight uh, and hope to uh, help, you know, hope to welcome you back on the program again soon. Thank you, Michael. Thanks very much. We've been speaking with Lance Morgan of the Blockchain Intelligence Group. They're a subsidiary of Big Digital. And you've been watching Global One Media Stocks to Watch. I'm Michael Suato.